Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to edit subtitles in SRT format or any other common one in the Final Cut Pro X. For that I'll be using Parallels, I'm sure all Mac users know what that means. There I have installed one amazing app for the subtitles called Subtitle Editor and basically the Final Cut Pro X. This tutorial is actually for those people who have faced the same problems as me when none of the applications for burning the hard subtitles over your video want to reflect the color of font adjustments. Sometimes the voiceover is not that much appropriate, as in the example where there are two guys are sitting and sharing some advice like so. But your strength as a man is your strength of character. The original video already contains the hard subtitles and that's why you cannot see the translated ones. So this is the result of the burning the subtitles with the color adjustments to the video. We can see the whole bunch of the color screen details. That's why we have to move to the Final Cut Pro, but before that we have to save these subtitles in a special format, which is appropriate for the Final Cut Pro. This is the one. Okay, here we are in our Final Cut Pro now. So what we're gonna do, we have created our event and then project. So we are going to file, we will select import and we'll click this XML. Then we will select our converted subtitles. This is it, here you go. I have actually deliberately prepared for this tutorial a project in a Russian language so that you could make sure that it will work with non-Latin writings. So as you can see, this is Kyrillic type. What you're gonna do next? You will right-click on it and will select Open Project. So now you can see it below. Then we will just simply drag our video in here. Here you go. And now we will take our video and we'll move it below the subtitles. Now we will make this area more user-friendly. We need to expand it. For that we will stretch it. To edit the subtitle we will double-click over it. Here you go. Now you can see that the text is active. You can delete something from here. You can cut, but basically we'll be working in this area. So we will select. We can make the font bigger. We can change the alignment. If we want our text to be more bright, we can go down. So here we can see the face. This is the actual color of our text. We can change it to any if we want. Okay, then we'll go to the outline. For the outline, I would suggest, for example, if we want to make it simple, we'll, we'll take the black one and a little bit more down. We'll go to the width. So now we can see how uh, the, some background appears behind it. So if there is something disturbing uh, behind the text, we can make it more clear to read. In order to make it work for all of the subtitles, we have to select them all. For that, we will click one last or the first one, then we will scroll to the end. Uh, holding the shift, we will click the last one. So now we can see them selected. Now we can do all those changes to all of the subtitles and here you just need to do the adjustments to any which is displayed on default. Whatever you will do will be applied to all of them. To change the position of the text, we'll click the button Transform. Now we can see that the window is active and we can move our text. Now we can go here and select some different style for our text. There are a lot of them. So we will take this, for example, 3D blue plastic. So this is what we've got now. Here we can also edit some other details of this style, 3D. So we can see, we can select here, maybe paper, maybe metal or fabric, whatever. We can play with all the settings of this font. To 
cover the text on the background, this one, we'll have to edit subtitles, but uh, that we'll have to do one by one, because actually I don't know how to batch convert them for this way. So we'll double click on the one, then we will go to the text and we'll select lower thirds. For example, I have selected this one, paper. So we double click over it and then our text will be applied to this type of the title, but we'll have to adjust it. That's why I told I don't know how to batch convert them. So uh, the timing will not stay the same. You will have to adjust it like this. And again, double click. We can see that uh, there is some description place. So we select it and delete. And now we have to edit the actual text in this title. So we select it, then we can adjust the font size. Uh, we can move it upper, lower, and we can move the whole title thing. Like you see, it covers perfectly. When you are done with redesigning your subtitles, you will click Command A, everything is selected, then you will right click and will select this new compound clip that will merge your subtitles with the video and will create one file. And now we need to save our project, so we go here, then we select master file, then go to the settings and check everything is fine, video and audio, all this, then we click next. I hope this was helpful and if you have any other ideas how to improve this process, please leave the comments down below. Also, I'll leave the YouTube channel links of Mohamed Ziyara and Imran Salha, whose video we were subtitling today. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, bye bye!